This truck holds a special place in my shelf and I shall explain why. Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, we're gonna look at the FMS FJ Cruiser 118 scale, fully licensed by Toyota. Features, according to the box, is injection molded hard body, functional hood, scale interior features, multifunctional light control systems, high traction MT tire with one inch internal beadlock wheel, realistic pinion and ring gear axle, high torque transmission with 104 to 1 FDL, water resistant electronics with a 2.4 gigahertz uh, radio, high torque oversized 55 turn brush motor. I'm not sure about the high torque oversized. It's a 050 uh, brushed motor. Comes with a 7.4 2S LiPo battery, which the box says providing up to 30 minutes runtime. In my personal experience, I've been running these cars, these FMS cars, depending on how you use the car, for about 45 minutes to an hour. It all depends on how you do it. Chassis mounted uh, servo, steering servo, aluminium uh, frame rails and tune coil shocks, in other words, um, spring loaded shocks. So it's not oil shocks. As you can see, this is a very scaled model. Again, fully licensed by Toyota, with loads of scale uh, features, such as mudguard, uh, front license uh, bumper with three uh, lights, although these lights are not functioning out of the box, you can actually connect uh, lights to uh, the front bumper and get them uh, running because there's a spare um, connector on the combined ESC and receiver. You've got wing, uh, wing mirrors, which are actually mirrors, You've got door handles, a roof rack. I've put some accessories on mine. You've got a rear ladder, a Toyota badge, a fully spare um, spare wheel, fully sized, uh, fully functioning spare wheel. There should be a rear wiper there, but unfortunately mine has fallen off and I lost it. Uh, again, FJ Cruiser. Uh, you've got rear lights, although these rear lights don't indicate they only come on uh, if you reverse. Um, rear bumper with a number plate and finishing with a lovely uh, plastic snorkel. On the undercarriage you have uh, all plastic links and um, ax axles although the, uh, the chassis is made of metal. You've got a 050 high torque motor, 55 turn. I'm not sure if the um, the gears inside the axles are plastic or metal. I don't remember. I've opened these a while ago, but I don't remember if they're plastic or metal. Uh, and you have a body mounted um, steering servo, not a, a, an axle mounted, I'm afraid. Personally, I've added some weight to the underside carriage of the car to give it a bit more uh, weight on it. The only downside of this particular truck is that it doesn't come fitted with oil filled shocks. It comes with spring loaded shocks, so it can be a bit bouncy, but taking into account the price of the model, it's actually okay. One thing this car also has is a full sized interior. You can see the seats, dashboard, steering wheel, including back seats. The only thing it hasn't, it hasn't got is uh, the door cards and a fully specced boot, but I think for the size of the car, Hey ho, you can't have it all, so it's still a lovely truck. Tires wise, it comes with the empty tires on plastic bead locks, so you can take these um, and replace with other wheels and other tires. Uh, the majority of, every, of people that actually buy these models, they um, replace, first thing that goes is the wheel, uh, wheels and tires. I personally don't like to mod my trucks too much, I actually find these tires to be quite good, especially in the mud, uh, but that's my humble opinion. They are very, very soft, as you can see. This particular model does not come with internal foams, which makes the tire even more soft uh, and grabby. They are, they are okay, they're not the best performing tires, but for the scaleness of the truck, I find them to be quite good. And as I mentioned before, the spare tire is also a fully functioning tire 
made of the same type of tyre, same rubber, on a beadlock wheel. The truck uses a 7.4 volt, 380 milliamp uh, battery. These are very well known uh, for everyone that buys an FMS. They are very small, very compact, but they are they pack a punch. Uh, there are two, two S uh, LiPo batteries. Uh, depending on how you use the truck, they will last you about anything between half an hour to 45 minutes, potentially an hour. But as I said, it depends on how you use the truck. The quicker you use the truck with, uh, the quicker the battery goes. If you use the truck on very slow mo crawling, then that's when you're gonna try and get the most out of these batteries. And the way you fit the battery is, again, very realistically, where you find the combined ESC and receiver, and your on and on on and off switch, you'll pick up the battery, connect it to the cast connector, and then there's a very, very small space in there, almost unnoticeable, that you put the battery in, turn on the car, beware, turn always on the um, transmitter first. You turn on the car, you close the, the hood down, and then you turn the transmitter. And there you go. In terms of transmitter, this model uses the uh, older fashioned FMS transmitters. It's actually quite nice. The plastic is not cheap, or at least you haven't got that cheap feeling. It comes with a foam uh, steering wheel. It's actually okay. And then it's got some lights at the front. The transmitter itself, or the head of the transmitter looks like a sports car with two lights at the front telling you that when they stop flashing, it tells you that the transmitter has binded to the ESC and receiver. At the back of the transmitter, you will find all of the button options uh, where you can control your lights, your steering wheel uh, functions, your throttle functions, and it has a um, climbing option and a training option. So basically the training and the climbing option look like the same thing. They reduce ever so slightly the speed of the car, which allows you to say, if you have a child, um, they can run the car in a safer mode without going uh, too quick. Not that these models actually run that quick, but hey-ho, it's a nice feature to have on this particular model. So as, as I said, you've got functioning uh, front and rear lights. You have the very annoying indicators. Um, and the way you switch on the lights and off is you click this little button here to B mode and then LED there, you click on the lights, you get full hazard, let's start again. So these are off, you still have your indicators when they're off. Then you click once, completely off, no indicators, no lights. You click again, you have your normal beams and your indicators. You click twice, high beams and your indicators and you click th a, th a third time, then you have your high beams and your hazard lights only at the front. The rear lights only come on when you reverse. Although this truck has the older ESC receiver combo, when it comes to low modulation, it's actually quite good. It's all fully functioning, steering wheel functioning, uh, throttle uh, very function, and low speed modulation. This is as low as it can get. And as you can see, it's actually quite good. So, as I said at the beginning of the video, this particular model holds a special place in my FMS uh, model shelf because this was the ever first FMS model I bought. Uh, although I haven't featured any reviews of the truck so far, this being the first review, it is a very special truck for me. Now, is it worth buying in 2024? Yes, definitely. You can find it on sale on FMS website. I'll put a link on the description. It's on sale now at the moment for about $139.99. And for that amount of money, you get a very scale licensed body for Toyota and a very capable 118 scale truck. Yes. For the ones out there that love to mod the truck, you can change the wheels, you can change the tires, you can even change the uh, ESC and receiver combine and put a, a brushless system. There's all sorts of uh, different options out there in the market. But even if you're like me and you, you like to run it on stock mode, 
it's still a very good looking and very capable truck. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.